All right, so let's talk about the basic what is, like what's the need for reporting services? What does it do? How is it different from maybe what some other platforms are? And I will go ahead and say, if you already know this, just close out the video, go to the next video. You don't have to relearn what reporting services is. Now, this video is really targeted at those of you who are pure beginners. You really haven't worked with reporting services, so that's kind of where I am with this one. All right. Let's kind of set the stage here. As a company, as an individual, uh, you want to be able to have, obviously, have ways of displaying data in a standardized way that makes it easier for everybody to come to an agreement, right? Uh, you want, I mean, there are standard reports. There's bar charts. Uh, there are all kinds of standard reports, and we're generally versed in how to interpret those reports. That's what I mean when I say a standardized way of representing that data. Right, so we want to be able to have a standardized way to do it. And then the second component of this is to be able to access those reports from different locations, from different devices, from uh, even different applications. Like I might want to embed it in SharePoint. I might want to embed it in a Windows application. I might want to embed it on one of the Windows mobile phones, for example. Okay. So to that end, I mean, this is nothing new. This is not a new industry. Uh, it is a growing at an insanely fast industry right now. But there have been a lot of players in this, uh, reporting services just being one of them, if not one of the newest uh, ones of these. Right? So crystal reports, business objects, uh, a lot of people use those. Those are probably some of the industry uh, powerhouses there. Uh, Microsoft Office, certainly a lot of people work with Access. Uh, a lot of people use pivot charts and pivot tables in Excel. Um, Cognos, Hyperion, when you start getting into the big bucks, you know, there's a lot of fancy business intelligence type uh, reporting tools. And I just kind of got tired. I mean, there's there's a lot more. Uh, I just I didn't feel compelled to list every one of them here. So the definition to what is reporting services is right here. This is Microsoft's play. Okay, they recognize that people want a server-based reporting solution. That server-based reporting solution allows us to access the reports from multiple locations, to access the reports from multiple devices, and from within multiple applications. That's where their play is. That's really what the flexibility of reporting services is all about. It's server-centric, as we're going to kind of talk about here uh, in, over the next couple of slides here. So here's the flow, in case you're not familiar with it. Let's put you in the report author role. Okay, so you're creating it. So you're on your computer. Now, I'm going to use one scenario, and that scenario is that you're developing locally on your own machine, and you are going to then send them to a remote machine that is going to be your reporting services server. It happens all the time, however, that you develop things locally, and your reporting services just also happens to be on the same machine, particularly when you're doing development or following along with a course. Okay, so you and I, we're the report authors, and we create the reports on our desktops. So that's what I mean by locally. We then deploy that to a server. Now, we might be using fancy browser-based tools like the Report Builder. We might be using Visual Studio. We might be using a third-party tool to do this. But the end result is that the report is saved on the remote machine. It is saved on the reporting services server. Okay, so we call that a deployment. Once it has been deployed, now you can assign security to it. You can define other authors uh, for that particular report who is able to access it, who is able to edit that report. It's now accessible by all the devices, all the uh, locations, uh, and embeddable, if that's a word, within other applications. Okay. All right, so 
I, I'm just going to reference this as SSRS, SQL Server Reporting Services, right? Um, it, this graphic comes directly out of the MSDN, uh, the books online there, and it kind of does, I think, a good job of showing how all of the various technologies around reporting services are related, right? Reporting services can hit both sides. Notice that on one side of it is the database engine here. So if we went that way, we can report from the database engine. Some of you may not be familiar with the terms that I'm using here, database engine. I mean the relational database, the OLTP database, the regular SQL Server database. If you still don't get it, it's just a SQL Server. Okay. Um, but then on the other side of this, we can go to analysis services. We can do reports based on multi-dimensional data. Uh, so we could also do data mining reports. So we can go both sides of this with reporting services. It can work over many different data sources. Okay? The only data sources I happen to be showing here are the ones built in with SQL Server. Okay? All right, so the easiest way to describe it is it's the report server. You put the reports on the server, and now the company can access them. People can access them. The reports are physically stored on the server. The server deals with the security. It handles the access. Um, if you've understood a database management system, and so what some of the goals of the database management system are to uh, provide guaranteed access to ensure certain people can't do what they haven't been explicitly allowed to do, this is kind of like a report management system does the same type of things. Just client server. I mean, it really is. It's, you know, client requests the report. The server responds to that request. Sometimes the server sends back a report. Sometimes the server might say, you know what, you don't have access to that report, so I'm going to give you an error message. 